Hello, Serge here from the back porch. I think the other day I said from the back tee. Well, uh, as you can see, I'm on the back porch today and uh, got a good question here. Clipboard means question. And this comes from Michael. He's called M. Boyleman. And Michael says, past parallel, I've been trying for years to shorten my backswing with no success. I, I have been working with your instruction since October and have played last week in Tampa. All the caddies are single digit or better golfers and have always been very helpful in identifying swing flaws. I told my guy that I am working on shortening the backswing. I like that thought. It was pointed out to me a number of times, too long. I need more help. As I said, I have been using your in the catcher's mitt and up the tree. I am still getting caught on my right side and too long in the backswing. Submitted by Michael. Okay, Michael. Uh, I'm getting caught on the back right side confuses me because I would have liked to know definitely does, does that mean you're 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 getting hung back and maybe falling back in the backswing or are you getting hung up on the right side on the downswing I'm suspecting that's what it is because in many cases of one over swings the what they have to do in the transition is they got to pull the club up first and especially if you've over swung and overturned and your weight came back to the to the left side as you pull up it pulls you back and then you're hitting it from the back side and in many cases a lot of times you might hit it and get to a and finally get to a tee finish which I call you know an afterthought you know day late and a dollar short so uh, that's what I'm suspecting is what you're meaning by the 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 getting hung up on the right side so the key is yeah, uh, that, that that'll help go away when you shorten the backswing. So the key is how do you shorten the backswing? All right. In many cases, it's a number. It's a one of two things, uh, swing-wise. Uh, number one, if you've got a little bit too much activity of the of your forward side, I'm going to treat this as if you're a right-handed golfer. The the foot and or the knee is coming in or both, and and that allows you to to tilt a little bit. Once the spine tilts, and if you did it a little bit later in the swing till about here, and then you do that. That in itself was going to give that extra momentum to fling you up and too long. Even, and so that's one of the big causes I think we need to look at. So the concept of how do we get the, the three-quarter limited turn swing, it starts with the setup with the wide knees in line over the, over the ankles with the outward pressure. So that resists, so we, and we try to keep the, the resistance in our, in our legs so that we don't turn, especially in the forward leg. So if that's going this way, that's giving that last little fling, flings the club up there. And once, it, once it's flung that way, the only thing left is once you've tilted, you have to pull back up as we already discussed. So hold the legs, the outward pressure to cut down the turn. And then the ultimate next thing up there would be is what? The surge swing also states that, that there is no wrist cock at the top of the swing. Good wrist action is no wrist action. And so whatever you start with in your setup, you're going to lift it all the way up the top and not cock the wrist because you can get all the way to here perfect, but if you cock your wrist, boom. And then normally what happens when you cock your wrist, that hand comes off. And normally what somebody says is, well, if your hands break it open, squeeze tighter. So when you squeeze tighter and you cock your wrist, you're going to start cocking sooner and, and it's going to end up being worse. Just maintain your good pressure, but don't let it change. And the second part of not breaking your wrist is that you can try to keep, in this case, your left wrist as firm as you can keep it up here, but if your right hand goes ahead and does and, and decides to cock it, that can, break the, that can break the left wrist down. So you have to do it with both wrists. So both hands are going to come up and, and, and work hard at resisting breaking. Okay? So I think these two issues is probably going to be a big thing. It's either or. Too much left side moving causing you to, to tilt and go too high, which will send you to reverse weight shift on the way down, and or cocking your wrists. So work, uh, try to figure out which one of those are, and it's either or, or could be both. And either way, you, you firm this up, firm the wrist up there, and you'll be, you'll be getting that three-quarter swing you want. All right? So work on those two things, and I'm sure that they're going to help you, and you'll be hitting it more solid and straight, and then consequently hitting it more consistently and shooting lower scores. Well, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.